what's a lovely morning here at the North East. Passengers running to catch the train. Cool, he must be late. Taxis waiting for the passengers to come in of the next train. All is quiet here at the North Eastern. Looks like we're in for a lovely day. Parking bays are full up. And Mrs. Sims is talking to Mary Fairweather. They must be going to talk about the weather and what kind of day they're going to have. Oh, it's not going to be such a peaceful day after all. There's a police car there. Oh, and what's Sergeant Venturus doing? Waiting at the top of the 39 steps. Ah, Roger Nix is about to get nicked. Well, I hope you don't turn around and go back down the stairs. Whoops. PC Pitkins followed him up. He's got no chance. You're nicked. How do you know my name's Nick? Ah, you're well known in these parts for being the rampant burglar on Tyneside. And that's not all that's going to happen today here on the North Eastern. And this is where the story starts. So, let's head over to Newhassel. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Director. I didn't expect to see you here. Oh, Mr. Easton, you know me well enough to call me Bill, or Billy for short. Okay, Bill, I'm on my way over to Tyne Docks Station to see Sid Jackson to inform him of his pending closure of the station. Ah, oh, good lad, yes. Uh, I was hoping to catch you before you'd went. I don't envy your task. But it is for the greater good. And uh, I know Sid is a very, very proud man. And uh, he won't take this news very lightly. Aye. Sure I will, Bill. Better still. See if he wants to meet me in the Saracen's Head later on this evening. Cheerio, Mr Easton. And good luck. He's not going to be happy. Thanks, Bill. Morning, Mr. Easton. How you doing, lad? Oh, can he, you know? Ah, can he good? It's a lovely day for it. Yes, it is. All Tony kept thinking about was how he's going to tell Sid about the closing of his station, Tyne Dog.
arms to Easton. What brings you to town, Doc? I hope it's not bad news. Oh, by the way, this is Hercule Poirot. Oh, wow, he's a famous French detective. What are you doing here on Tyneside? Ah, one of me. I am not a French. I am Dutch. What is wrong with you English? Always mistaking me for a Frenchman. E, I'm so sorry. I always thought you were a Frenchman. Never mind. It happens all the time, toots sweet. I must be off. Back to London. I have an appointment with the Queen. Well, laddie, looks like you've upset him. Anyway, why are you here? Let me think. You're going to do the interior for the new signal box at Tyne Dock West. No, I'm afraid not, Sid. But I will get round to doing it at some point, you know. But I'm here to tell you that it has been decided to close Tyne Dock Station. Eh, bunny lad, you have to be joking. I have been here for seven and a half years. Not only that, the station has got busier ever since they opened the branch line to Little Haven. Oh no, you can't be serious. That train was on the line. You know, Sid, I didn't want to tell you this, but it is true. I'm afraid the station has to close. The T and E Board of Directors have assisted on it, as it has to be the right thing to do. OK, Bonnie lad, how long have we got before the closure? Well, it's two weeks, I'm afraid. Blimey, lad, that is short notice. What am I going to tell me staff? Well, it's like this, Sid. You and your staff will be relocated to other stations. What where, lad? What where? Right here, Sid. But you said that the station is to be closed. Yep, that is correct. Closed and demolished. I don't understand, laddie. Well, it is simple, Sid. It's simple, Sid, Sid. There has been a massive design flaw when this station was built all those years ago. It was built totally wrong. So what are you saying, Mr Easton? We're getting a new station on site? you got to be joking. Yes, Sid. A new station, as it should have been built in the first place. So, how long is it going to take to build this new station? And will all the original staff come back? It's like this, Sid. The board of directors say that the whole build should take no longer than eight to nine months with new track, new platform and a new station building. You and your staff will be paid and transferred to other stations until the new station is ready. Starting with two weeks paid holiday while arrangements are made for your temporary transfer positions. Eee, well that's a relief. I thought it was going to be part of those beaching cuts. No, not here you know. Oh, by the way. Bill wants to meet up with you at the Saracen's Head pub later. Ye, you know what, Mr Easton? I will miss this old station. I have lots of old fond memories here. I will inform the staff later on. Aye, Tony. Did you hear about the Sunland branch? That could be closing too. You're kidding, Sid. That will never happen. Anyway, I must get back to the design office as I have a lot of planning to do. Well, lad, 
If you're free, maybe you could join us at the Saracen's Head later. No, I don't think so. I don't think I'll have the time. Anyway, I must get back. It was good seeing you again, Sid. Sorry about the bad news. No, it's not bad news, lad. It's the future. While Sid informs his staff what's going to happen to the station, Mr. Easton starts trying to make amends with Pyro on Platform 1 while he waits for the train back to Newcastle. Hey, I'm totally sorry for getting you mixed up with a Frenchman. Toot sweet, not a problem, young man, not a problem. Anyway, it was a pleasure meeting you, Pyro. Likewise, my friend, toot sweet. Hello Tony, how did you get on and how was Sid? At first he feared for his job you know, but once I explained about the new station he seemed to have calmed down a bit. But you said Sid is a very proud man and I am not sure that he's going to like the new station. Well we should see about that bunny lad. You've got eight to nine months, that's all you have. The railway can't afford to to have a main station closed. Okay Bill, I will do my best. Oh, by the way, Sid said he would meet you at the Saracen's Head later. Ah, good. You can come along too. Way I, Nuki Brown's all round.
it's hard to believe, Mr. Easton, that the two weeks are up and this is the last train to Tyne Dock, the Tyne Dock Special. And then we can hand the station over to you, Mr. Easton. Thanks, Bill. Looking forward to the challenge. That's it, Billy lad. Pack up your shimmies and leathers and your ladders. There's no more window cleaning for nine months. Right you are, Sid. See you down the pub later. Too bloomin' right you will. It's been a long day. Never mind, Sid. We'll have a new station in nine months. Well, let's hope so. I'm gonna miss this old station. I've had a good seven years here, you know. Seven years, Sid. <laughs>